Hi, my name's Stephen. I'm here to talk to you about this. You've probably seen some of these coming through the door. What this is, this is an American pyramid scheme called the Watchtower Bible and Tract Organization. Um, those of you who know followers of the Watchtower Organization are always, um, always quick to see um, bad things going on in the world. They're always, they relish bad news on the television. Um, they don't celebrate uh, birthdays. They refuse blood transfusions. Um, they don't even celebrate the birth of Jesus. They don't celebrate the birth of this guy here. Um, they don't, don't celebrate Christmas. In fact, their life is hell. They're waiting for the end of the world. They have a terrible life. Um, all these happy faces is front. Um, they, they don't celebrate hardly anything at all. I think the only thing they celebrate is the death of Jesus. I mean, it's a bit morbid, isn't it? Celebrating the death of Jesus um, and not his birth. They're always looking for proof that uh, the world is going to uh, blow itself up any day now and, uh, and that their God is going to step in and save them and uh, let everybody else die. Well, that's what they believe. Um, here we are, there's a picture of... Uh, that's how they see the end of the world and all the people that, they, that don't go to their church will be destroyed. So. Um, Excuse me, cat. I've got a cat here. It's been going since about 1800 and something. Um, I say a pyramid scheme because the only thing that's important selling watchtower material and recruiting more people to sell watchtower material. That's all that's important. Nothing else is more important. Now, when someone gets watchtower mentality, there is no reasoning with that person. Um, you cannot have a rational discussion with someone with watchtower mentality. The conversation always goes their way, and it always goes into the state of the world or something like that. So the breakups and families, it rips families apart. They point to a verse in the Bible that says brother against brother, sister against sister, and all that, you know, the usual thing that religions come out with when, when they believe they're being persecuted. The leader of the Watchtower Society in the 1920s was a guy called Judge Rutherford. He was the leader of the Watchtower organisation then. Millions now living will never die. Resurrection of the dead soon. Millions will never die. This is an early Watchtower material. What they're trying to do is put people against Roman Catholics by uh, to do with the, the Colosseums and the Romans, and um, they would tell stories about uh, identify a group of people called Christians and then say that the Romans used to throw them to the lions and things. Meanwhile, there would be somebody wearing a cross um, and holding uh, dollars. Well, this this was supposed to have happened in um, Roman time things, and they didn't. I'm sure they didn't have dollars and um, and the symbol of salvation then, did they? Here is a page from the Watchtower Yearbook, 1931. It's something to do with them sending a letter of support to Hitler, to do with the German government. And this is the leader of the, the Watchtower in the 1920s and 30s. There he is again with his bodyguards. Judge Rutherford, that's his name. Of course, they weren't always known as Jehovah Witnesses. They were used to be called God's Witnesses. And the God was called Lord. But what they wanted to do is they wanted to corner the market. They wanted some brand loyalty. Um, so what they did is they branded their God uh, with a name. Um, so, and like, for instance, you don't drink ordinary cola, you drink Coca-Cola. Because uh, uh, only Coca-Cola is the real thing. Well, they've done that with their God as well. They've, um, that's the way that they make it exclusive. And this is their name for the church. At one of the um, church meetings, what they do is there is a prolonged exposure to hypnotic language patterns which contain a thing called totalist ideology. 
this is a powerful psychological um, thing um, and what it does is basically it gives someone a thing called watchtower mentality. Now when someone gets watchtower mentality there is no reasoning with that person. Um, you cannot have a rational discussion with someone with watchtower mentality. The conversation always goes their way and it always goes into the state of the world or something like that and uh, there is no reasoning with, with someone with watchtower me mentality it's it it's addictive and um it's very very difficult to get rid of um that once someone gets watchtower mentality it's with them for life usually they, they there is no <laughs> there's no getting rid of it people almost every congregation has heard of uh, sexual abuse in there which is covered up the the person, the children involved tend to keep quiet because uh, they, 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 which they're called silent lambs if you'd want to do a, a web search on it silent lambs and if an, anyone in a family um, disagrees with someone with watchtower mentality the watchtower mentality does not take prisoners it does not take prisoners following the watchtower tears up families it rips families to shreds and another thing you notice is if you turn it over and you have a look, it says printed in Britain. Now that is how Americans refer to people who live in the United Kingdom. We who live in the United Kingdom, we, this, when you manufacture something, you look on the label, it says made in the United Kingdom. But the Americans, they say made in Britain. They refer to us as Britain, not the United Kingdom. So there we are, it's, it's American. It's an American pyramid scheme. In here, they've got a little... See the glass of wine and the, the bread. That's not that's not communion. No, no, that's not what the, what that is. Later, what they do is the whole room takes turns in rejecting the body and blood of Christ. The thing gets passed across, passed across, and passed across, and nobody takes either the bread, bread or the wine. What they're doing is they're rejecting the the fact that Christ is in you. And it says so in the Bible. I'm, I'm no expert with the Bible, but it says so in the Bible somewhere. It says that to uh, test your faith, um, uh, keep testing your face, the faith, and that, that you know that uh, Christ is in you. And actually, their Bible actually has translated that bit out. They've actually removed that bit from their Bible. It is the a copy of the actual Watchtower Bible. And we turn to the page, and here is the, that verse: "Is keep testing whether you're in the faith, keep proving who you are. Do you recognise that Jesus Christ is in union with you? It's the extra word, union, in union, right? If you, actually, this is an interlinear. If you go and have a look at the original Greek, um, and look at there, you'll see that the word union is not actually in the Greek. They've actually added the extra word." That Jesus Christ in you. Um, I, I think there is actually something in the Bible about not adding or is taking away from the Bible. I think it says something in there about God will destroy or any who add or subtract from the Bible. But I think uh, they are exempt from that because the, the Watchtower have created their own God um, with a brand name, with brand loyalty and everything. So I think they're exempt from that. Um, so here it is, an extra wide word in the English and when you look at the original Greek um, there is no, it's not actually in the Greek, that word. So there you have it. Uh, if you, like it's most things, if, you, if you're, you want to, if you're curious about something, check it out first. Don't just go get hypnotised uh, and mass hysteria. Don't go with the flow and do what everybody else does. So, uh, to sum up, let's have a quick reality check. Now, we all know there's no such thing as a free lunch. Um, good things don't knock on your doors and say, hello, we are free. If you wanted to find out about timeshare, would you go to a timeshare um, seminar? No, you wouldn't. Check it out first. There's lots of information out there. Google. Find out about something first before you get involved with it. Because quite often, pyramid schemes, when you want to get out, you can't. Because there is no legitimate way of leaving a pyramid scheme.